Hello, hello, CS family. Welcome back to my channel, Chantel Stuff. It's your girl, Audra Chantel here, your hostess with the mostest, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop a video. Hop into the comments, let us just know what's on your mind, and share this video with anyone and everyone. Hopefully, everybody is having a wonderful day today. Wanted to hop on and give you a very short video about qualifying income for a loan. So about qualifying income for a loan. So what income qualifies for a loan? Um, a lot of times people are getting paid under the table um, and they wanna know, can they use that income to qualify them for a loan? And the answer is no. Unfortunately, if you're getting paid under the table, we can't use that income. If you're not paying taxes on it, not going to be able to use that income so many times I've um, had to deny people because they are not recording or reporting or paying taxes on their income I've had people who wanted to um, remodel their businesses who wanted to refinance their homes and um, when they came with their tax returns um, their tax returns, mostly all of their income have been written off. So by the time we get to the gross adjusted income, it is like ridiculously low. And so that made their debt ratio high and you know, I couldn't qualify them for the loan. So, and, and that's what the, that effect is. So if you're, if you're uh, only claiming, you know, a small amount of income when you're your numbers are calculated and you know we're looking at your debt to income ratio and your unsecured debt to income ratio your numbers are going to be really really high um, because it's going to look like you don't have enough money for all of the responsibilities that you have so if you're not paying taxes on that income it can't be used when you're looking to get qualified for a mortgage let's say you're going Fannie Mae way right um, Fannie Mae wants to look at the last two years of your tax returns and she needs to see that you've been, you know, making money for the last two years. And if for the last two years you've had your accountant, you know, write off like everything in the kitchen sink and you're only, you know, reporting or showing that you have uh, adjusted gross income of a very small amount, you're going to be denied for that loan right? You're not going to be able to make it. You really have to have like no money going out, but you know, you get the one mortgage payment that's calculated in there for the new loan. It's going to blow your debt ratio, you know, right there. So um, it's really, you know, it, it feels really good not to have to pay a lot of taxes on everything, but if you're not already set and have, you know, your, your funds already saved and you, you know, you have that money already invested, making money for you and doing, you know, different things and you don't have this stockpile of money, um, you're going to be in a bad place if, if you're doing that. Um, feels good not to pay the taxes, but it doesn't feel so good when you're getting denied left and right for loans because um, you can't uh, account for that income, right? Or you, you can't count that income that you've been making. Some people work for, um, you know, so, uh, self-employed, you know, some people are self-employed and, and that's where they get into a lot of not paying you know, um, a lot of taxes because they're having so many things written off, which like I said, it feels good, but you don't have that income that you need. Some people are working for family members and the family members are like, well, you know, to avoid uh, you paying taxes, just to save you some money, let's just, you know, don't claim it, you know, let me just pay you under the table and I'm, I'm going to, you know, and that's going to be good enough. I've had people who, you know, um, contract themselves out because they're, you know, uh, contractors, you know, they, they do construction or, you know, they do, uh, elect electrical work, they're electricians and, and they contract themselves out and they make quite a bit of money, you know, on the low end. Um, some of those guys are making like $60,000, um, a year, um, but they're getting paid under the table. They come to me, want to get financed for, um, a loan, you know, whatever type of loan I do consumer and I do mortgages. Um, and I've had to deny them because, you know, that they're not reporting enough income. So their debt ratio is ridiculously high. It's such a sad situation. You know, I hate to have to tell people 
I can't use that income, you know? <laughs> uh, and a lot of them already know. And just to say, if you're making money like that, you know, and you're contracting yourselves out and, and you're out there and you're working and you're making money and you're not reporting that, uh, that income to the IRS, just want to say you want to check in to see how legal that is <laughs> because our laws say you know that we have to pay you know that income tax so but it does benefit you um as far as um your income if you do report it right and so i'd like to say if you're not doing that and you're looking to you know make some larger purchases maybe you want to buy that next building for you know in your investments or maybe you want to buy some investment properties you know to to rent out or to flip or do whatever with these you know homes or whatever or maybe you simply just want to refinance your home or buy a car <laughs> i wanted to let you know um that you want to make sure that you're you're uh, reporting that income so um, and paying taxes on it. So it can be used. So it can be used. Um, hopefully this video is helping somebody today. I, I know that nobody wants to hear, okay, you can't make me pay taxes on this just income just in order for me uh, to use it. But, you know, law says, you know, if you're not paying taxes on it, that we can't use it as income. So we're not the ones that's making it up. It's, it's all Uncle Sam. <laughs> So we already know how he gets to tell us what to do. <laughs> so we just have to make sure that we're doing that. Um, and just remember too. So it, even if you're um, if you're if you're on a job too, you just want to make sure that you're looking at your stubs. Make sure that you got that. You know the taxes are uh, being reported properly. Uh, the amount of income that you have is being reported properly. Just make sure all of that is in order. I've I've not had a whole lot of people who have had. Um, jobs that actually w2 them that um the income is not being reported properly i've only had maybe in all of these 14 years um that i've been doing loans i've only seen that maybe about twice that the income wasn't reported properly and they had to get some corrections made but still at the end of the day you want to make sure that you're keeping an eye out for that and then just make sure that you're reporting all of your income and go ahead and go ahead and pay those taxes so it benefits you now down you know i won't ever tell you to do something illegal i'm <laughs> not gonna do that um just say you know get all of your questions answered talk to your lawyers talk to your accountants just ask them you know those those questions hey you know is this legal you know is this going to be good for me down the line and if it is legal is it still going to be good for me down the line let them know what your goals are let them know you know up front this is what i plan on doing in the next five to ten years or this is what i plan on doing in the next six you know six to twelve months what should i do right so get those questions answered before you go into making those decisions on you know not reporting you know income and or you know writing everything off you know and and, and uh, reporting an extremely low um, adjusted gross income because it could it could hurt you it could be shooting you in the foot right so the income that qualifies you for a loan is going to have to be income that you are actually paying taxes on so you just want to make sure that you're doing that so as long as you're paying your taxes on it we will be able to use that income Hopefully this video helped somebody out today. Hopefully this video lifted somebody up and made somebody feel better. Hopefully y'all have a phenomenal day on today and I will see you all in the next video. Deuces.